Before he met Diddy, Usher was a kid who believed he was destined to be great. I want to have a name for myself. It was his dream. If I don't believe it, nobody else would. When he was only 13, the world started believing in his talent. Hey. Young man is going places. The next Michael Jackson. But to become a star, he had to spend a year with the man he barely knew. You've changed your name to Love. I have become Love. Okay. We're sending you New over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. Do you so, feel like that took away from your childhood at all? Flavor Camp was Usher's last chance at having a career. Giving up is not an option in life. There's always a way. The allegations are absolutely horrific. Were you the only kid at Puffy Flavor Camp? Where we hanging out and what we doing? Sure. We, we can't really disclose. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs accused of trying and assault. But Usher didn't just survive Flavor Camp. He thrived from it. You know, I'll never forget the first day I'm getting ready to do a showcase for my record company. My golden ticket was my voice. And I lost it. This girl is changing my mind so much. I really don't care. I got a headache, you know, from doing all them high notes. Hey, man, it's just puberty. You're going to go through it. But when you raise your voice to sing and you could do it so easily, now it's not there. It's gone. And you don't know if it's going to come back either. I waited all my life for this opportunity. So I performed before this audience. I think I may have ran about 10 miles. When I got back, my mother, she told me, I know this is hard, but um, we're gonna, we're gonna fight for it. We're gonna fight through it. And I'm gonna make sure that they don't drop you. When Usher was just 13 years old, his mother was hell-bent on making him a star. I mean, I had a mother who was strict. <laughs> she's a big influence in your life, oh, right? Oh, definitely. She, you know, she's my manager, and I keep her with me everywhere I go. But during their next meeting with the label, Usher would have to make a sacrifice if he was going to keep his dream alive. They didn't want me in. They would actually say, you're too close to the project. Oh, Puffy was there. I didn't know him. And he said, you're going to have to trust me. Puff Daddy becomes the legal guardian of young singer Usher Raymond. He's going to uh, mentor you and show you the life. We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. I'm gone. I want to entertain. My mother was like, you're not going to be one of those people who's just sitting around and sleeping on my couch. I said, don't worry about it. I'll be gone by 14. But although his new mentor was a talented producer, working with him came at a cost. <laughs> You can believe the hype. We banging, baby. As you see, it's female friendly. We showing the fuck off tonight. You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? I think they never been to a Diddy party. But Usher was quickly thrown into a world he didn't understand. You know, most kids would be excited about it. I'm around grown women, and I'm seeing them do things and and. The rumors keep mounting about rapper Diddy's parties. The allegations are absolutely horrific. The parties had a reputation for being filled with drugs, orgies, and suspicious behavior around children. Breaking news, Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> you still have beautiful parents, but you're my child also. Come on. Now how the f did the Me Too movement miss this f Man. Where we hanging out and what we doing, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album, I did Usher's first album. But for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. How did you make sure that people didn't take advantage of him? My mother used to tell me all the time, you need to stop telling people that you're gonna be a big artist. I'm like, why? That's what I believe. This is what I think about myself. If I don't believe it, nobody else would. Though Diddy was extremely controversial, he also gave Usher freedom he never had. Greater than just being an artist, that man helped me understand life. He helped me understand what it was to be an artist. He helped me understand what it, be, what it was to be passionate about something. 
at the root of Usher's passion for music was a kid looking for his father. There's nothing like a father's love. I suffered a long time making moves based off of the fact that I didn't have a dad. And I was the kind of kid that, you know, I always wanted the most attention, so I would go over and beyond to make sure that I got it, whether it was dancing, singing, and that actually just turned into my talent. <laughs> Usher and Diddy started work on the album, and even though Usher's voice had changed, Diddy made Usher feel accepted. You may not be able to rap, you may not be able to sing, but there's something else that you could do. You know, a lot of our young brothers and sisters, there's nobody that's showing them and guiding them through, through the business. And as he broke free from the control of his mother, Usher found a father figure. Puff Daddy. Same thing, keep your dream going, baby. As a result of being around that man, I don't sleep to this day. I mean, this is a dude who just never slept. You're writing this song for like 30 motherfucking days. And that, that commitment, I picked up. And the winner is Usher. Usher. Usher! As Usher became one of the most committed artists in the industry, he also became notorious for his sex appeal. I just felt confident enough to tell anybody, this is who I am. Have you or do you make love to your own music? <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Woman is a long way from the church singer he started out as. You want to make it in this business, you have to be willing to make the sacrifices that come with it. But despite getting everything he'd ever dreamed of, something was still missing. You know, there's accolades. Hey, Mom, I made it. Yeah. Where's Dad? Usher was about to become a father, but he had never gotten to know his own. I began to think about what life would be if I just decided to never know him. And I didn't want my life to go that way. So I reached out to him. It was so hard, it was, it was hard because I, <laughs> I make the decision whether you live or you die. That right there killed me. It's like, I'm not ready for that. He's being held in intensive care at the time. They say he needs his transplant. So imagine if you decide at this moment to just let it go and not try. I put my anger aside and um, I did it. And within the process of undergoing a liver transplant, he slipped into a coma and um, he didn't make it back. I guess the hardest part of this story is the fact that within the process of making the decision of whether my father lives or dies, if they take him off the, the machine, my son is across town just being born. The whole purpose and reason behind even trying to fix this relationship was to make sure that my son knew where his name came from but I lost that opportunity. He never got a chance to meet him. I tried my best to right the wrong that was my father. He made the decision not to be in my life. So now I make the decision to be in my children's life. Now, Usher watches closely over his kids like his mother used to do with him. I personally hold you to a higher standard because I know what work it takes to be great. Mm -hmm. Anything that you want to be great at, you have to make it a process. Like, it, it's, it's a part of your every thought. Over time, Usher distanced himself from Diddy, but he gave his kids the freedom to be themselves, like he'd learned from him. To have a dad that you could talk to and be able to be transparent with to help your kids, I think it's important. Usher and Adid will never know a day where there's a father who wasn't there or who elects not to be there. I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to be as helpful as I possibly can and be strong for them and strong with them. This guy, look at this guy, Morgan. Uh-oh. Look at this guy who turns 14 today. You thought I was going to miss this? You crazy. When life shows itself to be tumultuous, it's because you're being prepared for something greater. That's what I believe.